How close were we to getting you versus John Cena for your retirement match? Well, I would have had to stay another year. Um, I was doing a program with Baron Corbin when I decided I was going to retire. Um, the reason why I decided to retire is because I wasn't me anymore. Um, I was a half a step behind. Um, I looked like I was old when I was wrestling. I didn't like what I saw. And, uh, you know, Vince wanted me to keep wrestling. And um, I told him, listen, uh, this WrestleMania, I think it was 36, I think, was when I retired. I can't remember. 36 or 37. New York. 35, right? okay. Um, and uh, I wrestled Baron Corbin. And I asked Vince, hey, can I have John Cena? Because I started his career, I think, it'd be proper at the end of my career. And Vince said, uh, no, you have Baron Corbin. You've been doing a program with him for six months. You have to continue. But if you want Cena, you can have him next year. And I said, well, I, I'm only going to go to this WrestleMania. And he said, well, then you're going to wrestle Baron Corbin. Uh, are you okay with that? I said, yeah, that's fine. So I, I wasn't able to get Cena, but he gave me the option. If I wanted to continue on and wrestle another year, then I could wrestle Cena. Yeah, but think about it. The next year, WrestleMania was in front of no audience. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like this actually kind of worked out better. You got to say goodbye to the fans. Yeah, yeah. That would have been hard to retire uh, the following year during the during the pandemic. Um, you know, how do you say bye to fans when they're not there? <laughs> Although I guess the most heartbreaking breaking part about WrestleMania 35 is John Cena was there, right? He was unannounced, came out, made that surprise entrance. Um, you know how pissed I was because he was there and I was like, we could do this right now. You know, he came up to me and said, hi. I was like, I didn't even know you were going to be here. He said, yeah, I was going to make a surprise. And I was like, you know, I wanted you. He said, yeah, I wanted you too. And, you know, it's just unfortunate. Yeah, it just if like it feels like in hindsight, it, it could have made sense, right? You're both there. You, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Close, but no cigar, Chris.